Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Hey, uh, yeah. Dara's coming on the podcast. Yeah, tune in this Sunday, 12 p.m. UK time. That's right. Um, obviously, he's going to be here at London, and uh, we will get a chance also to speak in person. And uh, we're also performing and uh, working on that at the moment for 1MX. Mm-hmm. But um, one of the things that happened alongside that sort of big uh, Morris said Regine Velasquez performance of Gusto con Ambo Mitao was uh, Darren and Gigi de Lana. Fuck me. Amazing. What a, what a pairing, right? Yeah, yeah. And they, they're singing. I've never heard this song, I don't think, because it, it says, Pasabog sa no, aking kanalang. Pasabog sa aking kanalang. Sa aking kanalang. I think that's how I would say it. But isn't, aking... this, isn't the song aking kanalang? Yeah, but I don't know. Sa aking kanalang. Sa aking. I don't know. I just feel like that. that's the right way to say it. <laughs> Who the hell do, what do I know? <laughs> no, Let's give it a watch. Oh. Jesus. Mm. Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. But I thought it was like a king kind of line, right? Yeah, but I think... Is that maybe just rhythmically how she decided to do no, it? No, I think it depends on how it's like conjugated first. Oh, sa'akin. Sa'akin. So if he's alone, then he would be a king. Maybe. But if he's sa, if he has a sa beforehand, it's sa a king. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Pack, pack some more between the two. Pack some more. Halimau. Oh, oh, come on. Viernes. Oh, Jesus. come on. Turn up, turn up. Wow. Dude, can I just say as well? Fuck me, she's attractive. I just, it's so, it's such a hack, man. Dude, is like, that pretty in life? Yes. No, I don't think, I, don't, I wasn't saying it like that. I think for me, like, if you sing that well, right? Oh. Let's say you're pretty naturally, but if you sing that well, I'm going to find you like 10 times more attractive. <laughs> and there's nothing you can tell me about it. You know what I mean? It's like, that's fucking unreal, dude. And also, yeah, because that that's like, that's like, to me, that's like beauty. Mm. Because, like, uh, attractiveness is, like, you know, whatever. That's just physical shit. But mm-hmm. you might be a pain in the ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's happened. You know? yes. But when it comes to that, it's like, I don't think, in order to get to that level in anything in life, you have to lose your ego to a certain extent. You have to, um, and then you have to reconstruct it. You have to put in so many hours. You know what dedication looks like. So you can't be a dickhead. Yeah. You know, maybe she is. I don't know. But, <laughs> but you, at least you can't be just. What meets the eye. Yeah, there has to be mm-hmm. more to you. That's right. You know, yes, and that, I agree. <clears throat> that's I think that comes. Good, I do. I do think that that uh, development of the thought that you just said it's it comes with a lot of with like mastering a skill, whatever that skill yes, might be. Yes. Uh, Same as dancers. Yeah, like, you look dancers. Look at a good attractive, like, like a dancer that makes them attractive. Yeah, and it is not only the 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 action of the task or whatever. It's how it's done. It's how it's developed, yeah. right? But yes. So, also yeah. in terms of vocal quality, yes, Gigi Delana is fucking unreal, and she's she, incredible. What makes her magical is uh, her ability to execute at that high level, uh, making with her it own seem personality. Also making it seem so effortlessly. Yeah, effortlessly, which is I agree. Sort of where, what would you call it? Um, they are clues that you must seek if you're trying to discover mastery. Oh, that's that, that's what it looks like, anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> see that in Darren's face? That's like, fuck, she's good. <laughs> Oh my god, Darren's voice though.
Welcome to the Philippines, man. Oh, you two know you fucking murdered that shit. Yeah. Come on, doc. You know you killed that shit. You know what? I think like once you get off the plane, say you arrive to the Philippines or something, I think you actually listen to this. <sighs> this is what it sounds like. Like, you're like lechon. <laughs> what, oh what, else, what else have I never had? What is the thing, the mango thing? Oh, they're sticky. I don't know. But there, there is What's the that dessert thing. Halo halo. Halo halo. Halo halo. And then it's just, yeah, it's just like whenever you step in, that's what you listen to. You mm. step, as long as you touch that land. They also have this really. Literally, dude. This. <laughs> then you're like, what the fuck? What, what? The angels. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> and it's Somebody just, help me. <laughs> it's just Darren there welcoming you. Singing. <laughs> That's how when I arrived to the Philippines, dog. Uh, no, I have to be honest. What a vocal showdown that it's a joke. is. joke. It is ridiculous. Okay, you have such different contrasting vocal textures and colors in this particular two singers. Darren is so rich. It's so full. It's like it's like indulgent. His voice is indulgent. It's yes. it's it it allows you to just settle in the in the velvetiness with this b big bright resonance. It's everything that you could possibly want from a ballad. And then you have Gigi, who is bright. She is vocally so dexterous. She she has all the right tools to amplify some some stuff that are already big, that are already there to, to create like an impression. But she knows how to heighten them, highlight the beauty of the certain details that you might have not even thought about before. Uh, what's what's really interesting about this particular uh, cover is that it is a cover. So at the end of the day, they will make it different. So the uh, musical arrangement is way more complicated. The key change is it's more layered because you're working with two vocalists that are harmonizing in the moment. They're all working to the top of their ability physically and vocally uh, uh, speaking. So there's a lot, there's a lot of uh, balance and modulation that they have to find with each other that it will never stop impressing me. Because it takes a, a great performance, it takes a great vocal uh, show into something that goes beyond the technicality. It, it goes beyond, again, what Efra said at the beginning, what meets the eye. Um, and that's why these performances have so much grounding. They're so rooted. They, they feel like they hold a lot of responsibility. Um, and that's the only way I could possibly encapsulate such a short but impressive uh, performance yeah, yeah i mean i think obviously one of the big highlights is obviously the mm -hmm. their huge ability to communicate and the comfort that they have within each other mm -hmm. um probably not the first time that they have worked together and if it is that's fucking unreal um i think it also showcases like if, if you know if you look at the video there's moments where Gigi is the one actually seeking um, uh, the feedback. feedback, and then there's moments where Darren is seeking feedback. This is, you know, completely normal. This is how a, you know a, a, a performing relationship works. This is a, mm -hmm. it's a conversation, um, and, and you have to be open. You have to communicate a, yeah. in that sense. Mm -hmm. um, you have to be willing to adapt because things happen in the moment, and I and I think that's what takes like a good performer to then a great performer and a great performer to the elite, and then those elite when they sort of transition into those fucking holy <laughs> moments, you know, greatest <laughs> of all time moments, yes. is in moments like those where the pressure is on. You have to learn to communicate with your partner, with whoever the fuck the the duet is with, um, and. And create the right synergy. Like you have to know that you are safe within each other yep. because the band will do what the band does yep. and they will provide the backing and they will do what they are there to do. But in, when you're working in a duet where you're working with the other singing members that are also in the spotlight, that are also the main center of attention, you have to know that there's there's a sense of comfort and uh, a... Um, what is that a reliability yeah. that you know it has to be there so when you're seeking it in the moment because we know again tune in this sunday uh, because darren spills the beans about what actually happens in the preparation behind asap but oh, um, yeah fuck me 
absolutely fascinating. But it, knowing that those type of informations that you have such little time of preparation on your own and then to come into the studio and find that right atmosphere is it it goes it goes uh beyond just the margin of skill and the execution of the song itself but also in the uh, ability to uh, to share some of that load yeah. which is is really tough to do also when you have such powerhouses i'm very impressed there wasn't any you know any over singing there was mm -hmm. actually they really stuck to the script of what they needed to yes, do yes. um so fair play to them very very high level of singing Oh, um, this is fantastic. I'd love to check out all the performances. I know Gary Valenciano sang with someone else. I don't know who he duetted with. Okay, um, cool. But let us know if you'd like us to check out more performances. Do tune in on Feature Friday Plus this Sunday because okay. none other than Darren will be joining us. And also, um, you can get your tickets for 1MX because Darren is going to be performing. Easy Meal, KC Tandingan, Bamboo, ourselves, we're going to be opening and mm -hmm. we're going to be there as well, hanging out the day. Um, so... If you'd like to do that, you can go to the description, the link in the description below, and you can use this code and get some pounds off. Um, also, the giveaway winners have been chosen, so make sure Correct. you do check your email. Um, and we will see you there. We'll see you there. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye.